Uh, implantology is relatively a new branch of science, dental science if you want. And interestingly enough, it's becoming a dental medical branch. We are learning by implantology that the health of the patient is becoming more and more relevant for our dental treatments. We are talking about physiology, pathology, microbiology, antibiotics, uh, allergic reactions, uh, heavy medications, indications and contraindications, the influences of all of those on the general health of the patient. Now, why is this becoming more and more relevant for us today? Because the population is changing, and the change in population obliges us to change our attitudes, to change our methods, to adapt them. What kind of change I'm talking about? I'm talking about an older population today than 50 years ago. If I compare the age of the population today with the age of the population during the Second World War, I'm talking about a population which has more and more systemic conditions. We can call them diseases if you want. We talk about a population that about 65 years old, which is taking between two and eight medications. So you cannot do dentistry today on patients who are taking eight medications the way you used to do it on patients who are 100% healthy. Examples of, from my presentation, presentation today in Budapest. Uh, patients who are taking a simple medication, aspirin. Aspirin prevents blood clotting. Can you extract teeth on these patients? Can you uh, put implants in the mouth of such a patient? Will the patient bleed? Do you stop the, the aspirin? Well, I'll give you an answer just to that in order to describe to you in a sentence the complexity of these problems. If you stop the aspirin, and the aspirin was stopped in quite a few cases, we had cases of patients who died from cerebrovascular accidents, from emboli, which developed after stopping the aspirin. And again, I'm using the aspirin as an example, but I can give you myriads of examples of what's happening. Now, if I, if you, I would love to also relate to my presence here in, in, in Budapest. Well, it's not my first time here, and I hope it's not my last. Uh, uh, it's, I'm not talking about the Hungarian hospitality, which is worldwide famous, which is really a real pleasure. But I'm talking about the interest of the people in being updated with what's happening in medicine, with what's happening in dentistry, with giving more and more modern treatments to, 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 the, to, the, to, the, to the, the, the patients. And I'll give an example from the, from the, the, the company which is here behind me, the Alpha Bio company. They are developing today in dentistry new methods of treating patients which, is, which, is, which are called the CAD-CAM methods. These are computerized systems which are changing completely the way we treated patients when I was a young dentist. Then mm -hmm. I have to learn. You have to learn. All the dentists around have to learn. And that's the reason we are so happy to have conventions such as this one to spread the knowledge and to bring the people not in Hungary only, but all over the world, the new aspects of treatments of, of dentistry. We cannot do this in, 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 in Central Africa. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry, really sorry. And I don't think that this kind of dentistry is applicable to them. But what we can do to them, yes. Can we help? Yes. Not with implants, but with teaching them how to keep oral hygiene, with preventing uh, uh, methods, with teaching the children how to brush their teeth, and teaching their parents how to brush their teeth in order to prevent infections. So it's becoming more and more exciting, more and more uh, challenging, and it demands more and more efforts. And this is the uh, good part of the cooperation between us, scientists, teachers, and producers. We work hand in hand. It's beautiful. I love it.